Hey guys, Jim here from um, Carolina Outdoor Adventures TV. I want to just take a few minutes to show you a quick trip. A quick tip. I am replacing a coil here on a steel FS85 weed whacker or weed eater, whatever you want to call it. Um, and uh, it's just an old one that's just uh, time for a coil. No sense in buying a new one. So I'm going to show you a quick tip to adjusting the gap between where the magnets need to make connection to and the flywheel to get the right gap to, to get the right amount of spark. All right, so the first thing you need to do is you need to clear your, clean your magnets off. This one here was quite dirty. As you can see, this whole machine needs to have a good cleaning, but uh, if this surface is not good and clean, you're not going to get the correct measurement uh, between your plates on your new coil. This is the new coil right here. You're not going to get the correct measurement between that and the flywheel magnets to cause your spark. So this is uh, this is what I do. It, if you have a set of feeler gauges... These days, a lot of people don't even know what feeler gauges are. But if you have a set of feeler gauges, uh, you can use them. Uh, I just can't find mine. So I'm going to show you another trick that I've learned a long time ago to set your, set your uh, clearance. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to cut you a piece of black vinyl tape, electrical tape, and you're going to place it right on top of them magnets. Okay just like so I'm, I'm trying to do this with one hand so please bear with me you're going to place that piece of black tape right on top of them magnets okay and then what you're going to do is you're going to be able then to put your coil on here i have to turn the flywheel here a little bit because there's only one way the coil will go in so you put your coil in there and what you're going to do then is you're just going to tighten it up to the thickness of that tape. Now this is going to be just a little bit of a booger here. I can see that because I'm only doing it with one hand. And it's their two-hand job there. Now that's the way that wants to sit. The next thing is to go ahead and put your screws back in here. This one only has two. This is a really simple project. This is something that anybody can do. Uh, these days, you can find all the parts for your small engines and stuff on Amazon and uh, replace them really easy. And um, okay, so we're hopefully that's going to be the right gap. So I'm going to tighten this up and we're going to give it a whirl and see if we get any spark. If we do, we've got success. Now, the only other thing you have to do is just turn your flywheel a little bit. And pull that piece of tape off and that should give you the clearance that you need to have okay so basically that's about it okay um, almost every figure out what I did with it now almost every come on there I've got too much junk on my bench almost every small piece of equipment you know for uh, weed, weed uh, leaf blowers uh, weed whackers trimmers things like that use a small coil like this and they're anywhere from $15 to $25 on Amazon and even on eBay. And with the, you know, they're very easy to replace. I took five screws out. You don't have to use the drill like I use. It's just, it's a lot easier than sitting here trying to pull it and flinging tools all over the vent. So it's a real easy fix. And uh, if you get stuck trying to do something like this, Always feel free just to text us and let us know and we'll help you out. So thanks for watching the video. Uh, it was a short video this time, but that's okay. Uh, now you can fix your weed whacker and go ahead back out and whack some weeds. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, please be sure to subscribe and like the video and share and make sure you comment on it and let us know what you think. I'm Jim from Carolina Outdoor Adventures TV and we'll catch you next time in the next video when we do it all again. Thank you for watching.